Venturing into the Cayo Perico heist turned into a tragic comedy of epic proportions. I hit the restart button more times than I'd like to admit. Rockstar decided to give a heist a makeover, turning my once blissful adventure into a sitcom of frustrations. Guards now possess an uncanny knack for spotting fallen comrades as if they attended an exclusive seminar on Guard Awareness 101. Meanwhile, the island's security cameras have become overnight detectives, solving crimes faster than Sherlock Holmes on caffeine. And just when I thought I had the upper hand, boom! I get blown up for reasons even the game itself couldn't explain. Because nothing says fun like a surprise explosion, right? It's like Rockstar consulted a team of pranksters to spice up the heist experience. This was by far the worst attempt I ever had trying to do the Cayo Perico heist since they nerfed it. On my first run, I eliminated some guards, secured my secondary targets, and opted for a guard disguise before speeding down to the main compound on a dirt bike. However, when I began cutting the drainage tunnel, the guards were suddenly on high alert. It turns out that Rockstar tweaked the heist, making guards more vigilant about discovering dead bodies. This added complexity means you need to be cautious about which guards you take out, especially when they're near secondary targets. The frustration sets in because alerting guards at any point but leaving the main compound results in a failed elite challenge. Faced with this setback, I decided to exit the heist and restart again. On my second attempt, I decided to approach things differently, being cautious about the guards I eliminate. I took out the first guard to prevent being spotted while cutting the drainage tunnel. Additionally, I disabled the nearby camera to avoid detection. Similarly, when dealing with the guard near the clothing I needed, I eliminated him and disabled the camera. Surprisingly, despite my careful approach, I got spotted while putting on the guard clothing, even though I've executed this successfully before. Perplexed by my unexpected outcome, I opted for a third attempt by exiting the session. On my third attempt, I rushed it. Despite recognizing my previous attempt as a fluke, overconfidence led me to shoot the guard before the camera. Just a second later, I took out the camera, but it was too late. The dead body was already spotted. Now, in the past, there was a five second window to disable the camera before the body got noticed. Now my frustration is mounting, and I'm tempted to launch my controller through the TV. So, on my fourth try, I successfully took down the guards. I donned their uniforms and entered the warehouse to secure the remaining secondary targets. However, things took an unexpected turn when I fell between the forklift and the pallet due to my mishap and loading the pallet on the forklift. After some struggle, I managed to free myself and I fixed the pallet and attempted to jump again. Unfortunately, this time my character veered off, hitting the fence and falling to the ground, getting stuck underneath the pallet once more. Determined not to restart the mission, I tried various maneuvers, from first person views, to rolling while aiming, until resorting to using my assault shotgun. I shot the shotgun at the forklift, forcing the forklift away from the fence. Thankfully it worked and I proceeded to grab my secondary targets. I hopped on my dirt bike and I headed down to the main compound. Just as I think the coast is clear and I'm getting ready to get this primary target so I can finish this heist once and for all, as I was heading near the drainage tunnel I launched my motorcycle off the cliff into the ocean as I always do. But this time when I launched the motorcycle off the cliff into the ocean an unexpected explosion happened. Some choice words came flying out of my mouth as I seen the failed message appear on the screen. Despite the setback, I'm not giving up though. I've got one more attempt at this heist in me. So I'm going to launch my boat as fast as I can onto land to get as much distance as quick as possible. I know I need to run up to this guy and take him out. But this time, I am 100% taking out that camera before I take him out so that the camera doesn't spot him one second after I shoot him. So, aim for the camera, take it out. Now, I can quickly take out this guy. I know that no guard is going to spot him there because there's no vehicles or NPCs that spawn into that area. 
I'm going to go over here and I'm going to take out the guard that's standing by the guard clothing because the guard clothing, I'm going to need that to get down to the compound without getting spotted. I take the camera out so that it doesn't spot me as I'm running towards the guard clothing. Now, on one of my attempts, I believe it was my third attempt, as I was going to get this guard clothing, I was spotted. So I'm kind of cautious here going up the stairs and I'm looking at my mini map, making sure there's no cones of visions pointing at me. There isn't. I'll get my guard clothing and head down to the weed that is over inside of this barn here. After I get the weed, I'm gonna go get the dirt bike that I ran past earlier. I like to use the dirt bike to get down to the compound because it's the fastest, but I still have to get more weed because my secondary targets aren't full yet. So I'm gonna have to go inside of that warehouse where the forklift is. But first, we'll go and get the dirt bike. And now that I have the dirt bike and the guard clothing, as I go down to this warehouse or hangar, whatever you wanna call it, I don't need to kill any more guards until I get inside of the compound so that I don't set off any alarms with dead bodies being spotted. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead, park my dirt bike, get in the forklift, and I'm going to put the pallet in position so that I can jump up onto the second level because in this hangar here, warehouse or whatever, there's a weed on ground level and there's weed on the second level. Now there's also cash down here and everything, but just to maximize my profit as much as possible, I'm gonna skip the cash and go only for the weed. So on my fourth attempt, I got stuck underneath the forklift two times trying to get up here. This time I get up flawlessly. After leaping up the forklift and before cutting the chain off the fence, I turned my camera to notice that my dirt bike was still in the spot where I left it. I started gathering the weed and then I turned around to hop over the fence, only to discover that my dirt bike has disappeared. Now I'm stuck without it. I mean, leave it to Rockstar. Yeah, I can't have anything the way I want it. So, all right, I got my secondary targets. My loot bag is full. Now I need to run out of here and find a vehicle. Unfortunately, there's no more dirt bikes left up here. So I'm gonna have to get a slower vehicle. Great, two Winkies. I'm not gonna bore you with the whole ride, but I did stop to get a dirt bike because I really hate driving that slow ass Jeep. So I head down to the compound with the dirt bike. When I get here, I go as cautious and as slow as possible before launching off this cliff because I don't want to blow up again. Because what I think what happened was, it was El Rubio's air defense. And for some reason, because I was in the air near his compound, it blew me up thinking I was flying into the compound. Stupid, but I think that's what happened. Once I'm inside, I'm just gonna take the route I always take. I turn around and I run up these stairs. I don't look back, I don't pull out a weapon. I just head down this sidewalk. I hop up this little wall here, even though there's a set of stairs right there. And I wait for this guard with the red cone of vision to turn around because I wanna kill him to see if he's got some uh, gate keys to get down into the basement. You wanna kill him here because the juggernaut walks around and he will not spot him in that area. The juggernaut doesn't come back here so I can kill him. I got the gate keys. I want the gate keys because I don't like using the elevator in El Rubio's office. It takes four fingerprints to unlock the door instead of two down in the basement. I always am cautious around going around this corner there because that guy will sometimes spot you so just be careful. I shoot him in the head, no problem. I'm going inside of this office just for the safe here. It'll give you a little bit of extra cash. It gave me, oh, I had 424, and now I'm at 515, so it was around $91,000 in the, in the safe that time. It's not always the same amount, plus they recently nerfed that. So now that I got that, I jump down and head over to this entrance here, because like I said, if you enter through the basement, the fingerprint lock is much easier, only two prints instead of four. Hacking the fingerprint scanner is extremely easy. What you want to do is start on the top and find the very top of the fingerprint. Then move down to the next level, find the top of the fingerprint again, and move to the right once. Then go down to the next level, find the top of the fingerprint again, and move to the right twice. Then three times, then four times, and so on until the fingerprint is solved. And as you can see, I did it in under 30 seconds. This really is a no-brainer. Upon entering the room, I utilize a cutting torch to sever the chain blocking my path to the primary target. 
Next, I proceed to the tequila, where I skillfully cut it out of the glass case. Extracting the bottle is such a straightforward process. I press and hold the button, monitoring the meter until it nearly reaches the top. After releasing, I allow the meter to descend to the bottom, repeating the sequence approximately four times. Should you make an error and let the meter reach the top accidentally, a brief cutscene unfolds depicting pain. While it temporarily slows the meter, the overall impact on your progress is minimal. Having secured the tequila, I swiftly backtrack through the basement, vigilant of the minimap to avoid the juggernaut's patrol route near my exit, so that I don't set off the alarm in order to maintain the elite challenge. I leap over the railing, promptly dispatch a patrolling guard by my exit, and trigger my escape. Once I'm outside, I know that there's a dirt bike down the path waiting for me. It's guarded by an adversary. Opting for an exhilarating approach, I shoot him in the head, then hop on the bike. Having done this heist a thousand times, I know to steer clear of the patrolling guard near the helicopter. Now my next move is maneuvering through the steel-like tree branches and bushes. I reach the cliff's edge, executing a wheelie for added speed before launching into the ocean. Now my daring swim back to Los Santos begins. But before I make that daring swim, I'm going to go back up to the surface and take a good look at Cayo Perico before I leave for good. Actually, I won't leave for good because I know I'm going to put myself to this hell again. Ah, look, there's El Rubio flying off in the distance the wrong way. What a sucker. Well, there you have it. I finally completed this heist on my fifth attempt, securing a cool million in the bank. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. My name is Joey Bag of Donuts. You've been watching Jab Nutty Gaming. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.